Hi everybody, my name is Carolyn and I'm a third year computer science student at Queen's University. I uh, first wanted to go to Queen's because I knew a lot of people close to me, such as my sister who had also gone, and uh, they just had really great things to say about the experience, so uh, already I knew that it was a great place to be. What was really important to me is that they offer a general first year. So for anybody in high school who you know that you're, you're good in certain subjects but not others, or you're interested in something but no, don't know specifics, a general first year is really valuable because you get to go into, say, the arts and science faculty, and then you don't even have to declare what specific science or what, what specific field in the arts uh, that you're interested in. In your first year, you can take a bunch of general courses to figure out what you like and what you don't. And then at the end of your first year, you declare your major. The culture at Queen's is really great. It's incredibly supportive for other people in your program, especially in computer science, I would say. Uh, being a female in the field uh, does make it a slightly different experience, but, but you really learn to bond with whether it's a couple professors who really inspire you or other students. Uh, it's overall a great experience. So for teaching styles, it's mostly the in-person lectures, and then you have those supplementary readings of the textbooks as well. And not too many online modules to do. And then for workload, I would say that most courses start off relatively slow. That first month is um, really about getting the fundamentals down of a certain topic, so you won't go too quickly. But then uh, it does start to speed up around, around midterms, but it's never unmanageable. Uh, and then in terms of what's valuable, like what types of skills are valuable, I would say problem solving is key in this program. So if you like problem solving, if you like puzzles, or if you if you um, don't get discouraged when you don't get the right answer right away, then CompSign might be for you because uh, it's a lot of problem solving and debugging your own code. But again, it's, um, it's, it's a skill that you learn to not get the discouraged and over time you do develop it as well. Again, like Queens, we do have a general first year. So in your first year, you would just apply to say the arts and science faculty. You can also apply directly to certain programs uh, such as engineering, or you can apply, apply to computer science directly as well. But if you want that general first year, you just apply to ArtSci. Um, and then uh, at the end of your first year, if you have the minimum GPA requirement, which is a 2.6 GPA on a 4.3 scale, uh, then you get automatically accepted into the program. You don't need to do any supplementary applications or anything, which is really nice. Uh, if you have below a 2.6, I think you have to do, um, they do it on a case-by-case -case basis for accepting, but if you're above that, then you should be good. Um, so the great thing is that computer science is very high in demand and it will continue to be high in demand. So that means that uh, there are plenty and plenty of jobs a lot of people end up in a whole bunch of fields, whether it's uh, the financial field, working for banks, or working for tech companies like Google or Microsoft, or working for Amazon or Uber, like large startups, small startups. Um, it really does vary for sure. And then in terms of the positions, you can be a developer, so you can be a software developer, full stack, you can be a web developer, or you could be um, in data analytics, another part of the field. Tons of different um, jobs within the field. So it really is what interests you. And then throughout university, you'll be able to figure that out by the courses that you take. You'll realize what you like, what you don't. Um, I also highly recommend that uh, you do an internship if possible. Because uh, again, that will let you know what you like and what you don't. So Queen's allows you to participate in the Queen's University internship program. Uh, which is a 12 or 16 month internship and then you get a official specification on your diploma saying that you completed a uh, full year internship. And then in terms of recruitment for that, so most people go on an internship in their, uh, well after they finish their third year, but you can also go after you finish your second year. They'll go for a year and then they'll come back to complete their fourth year which would actually push their graduation date back by one year. I am a huge supporter of making sure that you get the fundamentals. So in computer science, in high school, that would be math. Take your math, love your math. Um, linear algebra and mathematical proofs are very, very important in computer science. So make sure you have a very strong foundation in that um, in high school. And then when you do come to university, even though those first two years, first and second year are busier than, than the upper years because 
there's a lot of required courses that you need to take, make sure you don't skip out on the fundamentals. So don't just take the fundamental courses that are required for your program, but pay attention in them because they will come back and uh, they really build the base for all the future courses that you're going to take and for all the future learning you do in the workforce. Bird courses are a common uh, talk, well, common theme among university students when they're when they're picking courses, but but for computer science, like, don't overload yourself, but at the same time, if it's between taking a course where you learn SQL and a course where you learn about ancient humor, um, go for the one that will be more beneficial because at the end of the day, it is your education and you're only doing a disservice to yourself if you don't take those uh, really great courses. Well, computer science, it's, uh, it's a unique field because it's a skill that you're developing. It's not like other programs where it's more memorization based. Uh, so you really do need to understand and you need to be able to apply your skill. And the best way to do that is to practice. So that can be doing practice problems or it can be um, working on personal projects. Personal projects are really important in computer science. So um, building your own website or, or getting involved on uh, design teams, those are all really, really great ways to make sure that your skills stay sharp. Because just taking a course in Python or in Java doesn't mean that two years down the road, you'll remember how to code in that language unless you're practicing. And then I guess I just, I really do wish that in first year I had realized the importance of personal projects sooner. Uh, because again, in first year at Queens, you take uh, two courses, you take one intro to Python course, one intro to Java course, and then that's it for for introductory courses aside from a second year one where you learn C and Bash. Uh, other than that, it's, it's applying those languages. You're no longer learning the basics, so make sure that once you learn them, you don't lose them. So practice with personal projects and then you should be good to go. Queens has a really great culture outside of the classroom for sure, I would say. We've got tons of clubs to get involved in, whether it's computer science related or not. It's important to find something that interests you and that you're passionate about because the university experience is so much more than just getting your education. At the end of the day, when you graduate four years or five years or six years later, it's important to make sure that you can reflect and, and think that you got involved in things that you're passionate about. And so make sure that you get involved in what interests you and try to have some diversity in there if possible. I think residence is a really great experience in first year because you get to meet a lot of people and because everyone's all in the same boat of new university, not knowing many people, it's. It's a great way to, to meet people as well as try new things and, and try out living on your own. And then at Queen specifically, there's a couple things that you definitely have to do. Um, Cogro, which is the common ground uh, coffee house. It's uh, on the second floor of the Athletics and Recreation Center. Go there, have a slice of cake if you end up coming here. It is delicious. Uh, there's also a kind of a first year rite of passage is to get the four piece chicken tenders at the Lazy Scholar which is a food location just right in the basement of Victoria Hall residence. Um, so just a couple of uh, sweet spots that you'll hopefully be able to discover for yourself. But um, yeah, there are definitely a lot of things going on in Kingston and at Queens that you can get involved in outside of school. I think Queens does a pretty good job of being supportive of their students. Uh, we've got lots of mental health resources and other resources for financials or, or careers. But the big thing is being able to take advantage of them. So even though they're available, whether or not you choose to take advantage of them is up to you. So just make sure that if the university is offering things like a seminar on financial literacy, if that's something that you think you need to improve on or is something that interests you, then sign up for it and do it. Uh, and then for health resources, we have the Student Wellness Center. We've got a peer support center um, for peer on peer counseling. We have lots of um, academic uh, supports with the Student Academic Success Services. The biggest thing that I would want to tell myself is don't be afraid to change your mind. Don't be afraid to take chances. At university, it's not expected of you that you come into university knowing exactly what you want to do four years from now. I came in looking to do economics and I'm going to graduate uh, with comp sci. You'll never know what you do like unless you try it. Especially in first year when you get those electives, don't waste them on a course because you think that it'll just be easy and a, and a good mark. 
um, put it on towards something that you are actually interested in and could see yourself exploring more in the future. I want to wish you the best of luck uh, in high school, finishing up those uh, last couple months as well as uh, preparing to go on to this new chapter of your life. University is an incredible experience. I really enjoyed my time here at Queen's and I hope that uh, you will too.